what's going on? It's Grant from Grant and Shelby here today to talk to you guys about something um, that is very interesting in the new way of fitness marketing. Um, and uh, it's gonna be about influencer marketing. So um, influencer marketing, as a lot of people know, is typically um, something that brands do in order to send products and also engage with the community a lot closer. So what I mean by that is typically these brands will either sought out themselves, um, some influencers, or or have people apply to be a ambassador for their brand. And then they will either give them a special discount code to also send that out to other people to pretty much bring in more traffic to their site, or they will actually pay them to do more things as well. So um, I currently work at a company that actually does a lot of influencer marketing um, and which we see kind of a little bit of both to where we send products to people and that's it, or we also pay people to kind of promote us. I wanna talk about this because of in the fitness industry, it's even bigger than I think in most in industries. Um, and by that I mean with supplements, with apparel, with even equipment in general. So um, you see all the time, even Flex Lewis, Rick and Grimes, uh, you see Instagram profiles. You see all these kind of Instagram profiles with like special promo codes and savings and things like that, um, and which brands require them to do that. I really wanted to know how easy it was to get um, an influencer slash ambassador, you know, promotion on your um, for for yourself. And it turns out it is insanely easy. It is insanely easy. So what I did for the past week was that I just submitted pretty much almost any um, type of supplement or apparel that is in relation to fitness. Um, I sent in a, an, an application pretty much. Um, and then after that, as I kept on submitting applications, even through Instagram, I started getting more of promotion. So then it just kind of double layered on there. Um, and I found out that um, I believe I believe I submitted to I think about 10 to 12 different brands and I got about four or five acceptance letters. I'm currently waiting to see if if, if any of the other ones will respond. Um, I've seen some that are very strict and some that are very lax. So um, it really depends on which ones you're kind of looking at. Um, and man, it is, it is very, very interesting to see how many brands are actually really trying to do this, um, and which they have so much high markups on their products that they are willing to sacrifice 40% for this specific person that will be loyal to them and consistent to them. And then they give them a 15% off code to use for everybody else. And I, I mean, like how many times does it actually get used? I don't know, um, but you know, it is very, very interesting to see a lot of stuff like that. I kind of want to go over some of the like agreements that I've seen. So one of them, I just saw a simple agreement of like, just make sure you say yes or whatever, right? Um, those are, I, I mean, you get pretty much accepted immediately and they send you a code to where you can use however you want. and. Um, typically with those, you actually get the promo code inside of the application. Within like 24 to 48 hours, they'll send you another email saying, hey, you've been accepted, all this other stuff. And they kind of go through the list of what you should be doing, right? And then um, I want to go to the way extreme. Um, one company I saw, and which I think they're a little bit more, they are a little bit bigger than the other ones. Um, that, that, that I was currently uh, working with. Man, it was like, it was a document. It was a legal document. Um, and it was, you weren't even guaranteed pay. Uh, you would get a 40% off discount code. They're going to give you 14 day notice of what photo shoot, wherever you're located or, and or I guess you have to be there to do it. On top of that, they required you to post once per week on each channel um, about their products. And that kind of really struck to me because of what I typically see is that like people ask two per month, right? Two per month I feel is a lot better um, than once per week per channel. 
um, they wanted you to write a blog post uh, actually, I believe once per month, just a blog post in general about their products or about lifestyle and then mention their products inside of it. So it's almost like, it's, it's not really a bait and switch, but it's like definitely luring people to buy their products. And which I haven't even tried any of these products, by the way. Honestly, it was just because of a promotion on Instagram. I swiped up, I replied and it was that simple. You know, they talk a lot about how they are going to be promoting you if you get good content and all this other stuff. And, you know, in my mind, I'm like, yes, that is very important, you know, especially if I'm wanting to grow my channels to possibly see if there's something down the road. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to be limited to a brand to themselves. I want to make my own brand and curate my own content. Um, and they also say specifically that you cannot do, you cannot promote any other supplements. Um, you cannot uh, refer to any other brands prior, priority than their brand. Say for instance, uh, if I was sponsored by Sinister Labs for my food or for you know my my like go to protein in the morning and then also protein snack, and then this other company was my supplement company. I would have to put that supplement company ahead of the snacks, even though I truly think that the snacks are a lot better. Um, it just, it's stuff like that that just kind of grinds my gears a little bit. I got accepted into apparel companies. Again, it's very, very, very easy. It's almost like a, it's not even an ambassador program, but it's like more of an influencer commission program. Doesn't really feel right. I wish, honestly, I did a little, I did a little bit more digging. Um, these are very, very small companies. They're not the bigger companies um, that I would rather probably work with. If someone came up to me and said, you know, I want to be an influencer. How do I do it? This is how you do it. You literally just apply online and then you can even look at my Instagram, you can even look at even my YouTube and and a lot of other accounts. They're not big at all. They're very, very small. Um, they are centered around a lot of lifting and a lot of, you know, talking about wellness and talking about health and things like that and also having fun at the same time. But like, it's not just about promoting products. Like I do not promote products at all. So anyway, I thought I'd just make this real quick video about influencer marketing and how easy it really, really is. It is very stinking easy. If you are wanting to be an influencer and if you are wanting to, to find a brand that you can resonate well, you know, find a specific industry and kind of look at the middle to lower ends of followers, right? So for Instagram, uh, probably look at like 10K up to 100K and see if there's any brands that or any brands that are very, very similar. Um, and then honestly, you can Google it and they'll probably target you because I know that they are doing a lot of promotion with this lately, especially because it's during the summertime. A lot of people are probably going to be posting more in the, in, in the uh, social media sphere. So um, yeah, there's a lot of things uh, that come into play with this. But anyway, what'd you guys think about the video? Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you feel like there was something missing? Please put it in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.